And how long do you want to do that? It's so stressful. <laughs> I don't know. But men, I, I'm not sure that is something anybody should put. I'm not sure that is a situation where anybody should put himself in. You get what I'm trying to say? Okay, so the reason I'm actually sharing this part of my story is because, you know, for some days now, um, there's been some things that is happening within my circle. Some people may know it, some people may not know, but it's totally fine. But there's been, you know, these stories of you know, a particular brother um, with that has escapades with different sisters and all those kind of gists, you know. I'm not... <laughs> the gist is not my, none of my business. I'm not involved, so... I'm not here to tell you what happened, okay? I'm just here to say some things to ladies, okay? Because um, I'm not the one that would come and shift blame on one party alone when things like this happen. The truth is, if you are used, dear lady, I'm talking to you now, lady, if you are used by a, a guy or if, you know, you find yourself in a situation where a guy does some things to you, you know, sexually and all that. Please, I beg you. You are a part of it. Do you understand? You are a very active part of it. Hmm? Because it is you that agreed to maybe meet at a place or come to a place. Or maybe go to his house. Okay? It is you. And don't, so don't come and do pity party. Like, oh, eh, he had sex with me. Oh, he has my pictures. Oh, it was you who carried your phone. Snap pictures like this. <laughs> hey, hey, Jesus. Carried your data, your phone, and then you sent. Okay? You were the one who did it. So you, you also have a hand in it. So stop sounding like, no, you were forced. You were not raped. You understand? It was not a rape case. So please, please, oh. <laughs> you know, that's actually, you know, where the genesis of this all conversation started from i just wanted to give you know some context you know so you have no business being in a relationship with somebody who does not believe in sexual purity you know and and honestly i don't know how with all these women empowerment trainings and everything we are doing it looks like the more we are doing it the boy is not even holding, you know, he's not even having any effect. I won't lie to you. I, f I feel so, I don't know how to explain it. Some of you ladies don't even have, you don't even have principles. You don't even have, you don't even have boundaries. You are just there. Like, uh, what? Oh, God. I'll give you an example of what I mean by boundaries, okay? You know, there are some things that some people do, and sometimes in my mind, I'm just like... If I give you a response, <laughs> you will not like yourself. See, as some people who know me, I play a lot. Like, I play. If I'm playing with you, you and I'm laughing, and I'm playing, and I'm just, you know, catching crews and laughing, you almost think I don't have anything serious I'm doing with my life. I play a lot. But even with the fact that I play a lot, see, there are some boundaries you can never cross, no matter who you are. Especially when you and I are not on some level of friendship. So there's this guy who... We are on the same group together. We're on a particular volunteering group together. And, you know, he... I don't even know how I got to save his number. But somehow he saved my number. I said his number. Then I, he was able to view my status. And then I noticed the way he comments on some of my pictures, you know. When I post any picture, ah, this guy has a, a one nasty comment. For context, this is a, a dear brother. Please. <laughs> and then... There was a particular poster, there was a particular picture I posted on 12th of April. And then this guy goes, or a bottle bad. <laughs> in my mind, I'm like, first of all, in my mind, I'm like, on what basis? Like, what is the meaning of all this? You and who? <laughs> God, what have we, what have we had together? For you to think you can open your mouth and make those kind of comments. We are not even close. You and I are not on some level of friendship. Just WhatsApp that brings us together. I don't know you. You try to explain yourself. Oh, you are this person's friend. And I said, I don't know you. I checked your picture. You, your face does not still look familiar. So what is the familiarity and nonsense play? What is that? 
do I look like a, a toy to you? <laughs> and then you know, I, I, and then I, I, I responded to this guy. And then I say, let me look for it. Let me look for it. Okay, I didn't respond. When he came to this later and dropped love emojis, I, I ignored. You know. Another day, I made another picture. I, I posted another picture. And then he says, How you do, Robo? Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey! Okay. I said, I'm sure you know I do not appreciate these kinds of greetings. He says, can't I appreciate your stature? I love it that way. I said, oh, well, you can as well keep your love to yourself. I do not appreciate it. Guess what this guy was going to respond with? You with your shakara. Shakara way you know fit do when you deal with us for Lagos. You can't enter a do you, but you can't give us woto woto. <laughs> Me. Ha. Ah, Mary. Yeah, ah. Ah, Mary. <laughs> God. I said, the next time you pass such comments, it won't be nice. You and I are not on that level of friendship. So don't pass such nonsense comments. Thanks. Have a good day. And then he says, I'm sorry. You have forgotten me. That's why. For quite practice those days with so so person. I just ignored. Then I saw that. And then he came another day. See you. So that when I'm when I'm talking, you people will not say, ah, Mary, you are taking it too far. No. I, let me take it too far if I want to take it too far. Because I see no reason why Oga I'm not close to you. We are not friends. What right do you have to be making passes at my stature, my body? What kind of nonsense is that? <laughs> And then he goes, <laughs> Mary, what's up, babe? How was your night? Oh, I knew, ah, I said, Mary, 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 don't respond, don't respond. Because when the matter comes out, it is your response people are going to see. I just left him, I just blocked him. He came later. Hey, listen, Mary, if I offended you, I'm sorry. Remember, I'm like, okay, two hours arrogant with the fact that you don't even know how to talk. <laughs> honestly, eh? honestly, some of some some of you, these brothers. Let me not say what. <laughs> let me not say what is in my mind, because some people will think now that brothers have offended me. You do not offend me, oh. You do not offend me. But see, there's something that should not be heard amongst us as Christians. You know, there are just some things that should not be heard amongst us as Christians. If other people do it, let them do it. it, it see, these things may not even make sense to somebody who feels that ah, what's the big deal in a robot? It's not just a robot. Eh? What is this? What is you yourself? Please, 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 please. Honestly, it's it's worrisome. You know, it's it's really really worrisome that we still have to do this kind of conversations. You know. And still talk about these things. I don't know. I don't know what the problem is. I don't know what the problem is, but looks like something is wrong somewhere. A lot of ladies don't even have principles. You don't even have, you know, you don't even have self-respect. You don't even you don't even have these things. But your attention is you develop yourself. You how do you not still know these things? You know, still know these things. Yes, I know. Uh, Mary, not everybody is, you know, is exposed as you are. I understand. I, I also, even when I, I had not gotten to this, to this point where I am right now, there were still some things at that point in my life where I would not take. I mean, this is my ex story I talked about. I was in my early twenties. I was maybe twenty three, twenty four. That was what I was at the time. So it was not like maybe I. It was something. It was just that part of me knowing that these are the things that should happen to me or the things I want to accept are the things I do not want to accept as a Christian as a Christian I don't know I don't know honestly I don't I, you know 
listening to some of these things that I've heard in recent times in days, you know, sometimes I'm just like, God, what else do we do? Eh? Well, how else do we talk about these things? Like, how else do we explain it? What do we do? What do we say? How do we explain it? Because the more we are explaining it, the more it is looking like... I even, somebody was even telling me recently that, Oh, Mary, do you even know that some sisters actually do volunteer themselves to go to a brother's house to go and do dishes, to go and cook? I say, You people volunteer? <laughs> Volunteer, <laughs> she said yes. That there, there, there is most of people that the brothers are not inviting them, all. but they will say that they are available. Let me just come and help you do dishes. Wow, 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 <laughs> wow. you volunteer to go and do dishes, clean the house, cook for a, for a brother you're not married to, for a brother you're not married to, you volunteer. Wow. I don't know. Maybe me, I'm old school, or maybe, maybe I, I think I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> when I hear some of these things, it's, it's it's shocking. I know these things happen, but I I didn't experience it. Even when I was in a relationship with this my ex, I didn't have a need to visit him for no reason. I I visited this house maybe only twice. And that is the house I'm talking about. It was, you know, it was me and our guys. There were a lot of guys. His friends. And I was even working with some of his friends at the time. So sometimes when we were coming back from the work at the time, we could just, you know, pass by. And that's even the day when I decided to go through that route. And see, my passing by is not to pass by to go and sit down and talk and cook. Never. A minary. Never. Ojo. Hey, hey. Cook waiting. Ah, hey, hey, hey. no verse, yo. <laughs> I know some people watch this video now and be like, hey, Mary, I own self is too much. Eh, hey, thank you. My own is too much. Tea for thanks. If you're hungry, go and buy fast food if you cannot cook. Why will I be giving you privileges that belong to the person I'm going to get married to? We are not married yet, so you will calm down. Even if we are going to eventually my eh, when we get to the bridge now, <laughs> you will be cross it. Abby, ah, um, I know I've said a lot of things in this video, yeah, even beyond, you know, what the topic is, but honestly, I, I, I don't know. If you have any word of advice, I know, drop it. I don't know if I'm the one, if maybe these things are looking strange to me because I didn't go through that, you know, I didn't have any reason to go through that you know those kind of experiences i didn't have it you know and right from a young age you know even to this point that i am there were actually some things that i have held on to you know that have been like my guiding principles there are some things i will not do for you i cannot do for you as somebody i'm in a relationship or i will not do with you okay sexual purity is not is not something we will argue over you know it is not something we will argue over that oh then i'll have to be explaining to you and convince you and present my case before you you know and tell you why i cannot do some things with you why you cannot kiss me why we cannot have sex before marriage why i cannot send you nude pictures i cannot be doing all that though for what now <laughs> hey, hey how long how long will i be explaining myself to you how long? And that is why you, if you are in a relationship, you have to be in a relationship with somebody. When they say spiritual compatibility is key, it is not, so part of these things are, are, are part of it. These things are part of it. Because there are some Christians who do not see a big deal in it. But they, they say they are Christians, okay? Their own God does not have anything to do with your small romance, you know? Small foreplay. Their own God does not have anything to do with that. It's shocking, okay? It's amazing. It's shocking. I don't know. <laughs> God. Oh, Jesus, please help us. Oh, Lord, Holy Spirit, please help us. See, no one has immunity over these things. Ask David, ask Samson, even the strongest of men, okay? When, when the Spirit jumps on them, <laughs> the best thing is just to flee. 
or maybe appearance of evil. Even the Bible says it. Appearance. It does it is you don't even know if it is evil or not, but it appears to be evil. Run away. Run far. You know that experience, that thing that happened to me that night where I told you, you know, where I explained that my my um ex and I were together in the same place. You know, when I go over it again and I think about it and then I say, What if we didn't withdraw? What if we didn't, you know, just you know, quickly ah or go waiting they happen, you understand that kind of thing. What would have happened that night? Do you know that that point in time we were so vulnerable? We had just finished an argument. It was it was it, it sounded normal to want to cuddle, you know, and, you know, <laughs> thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Because looking back now, I can only say thank you, Holy Spirit. Because, I mean, I don't know if it was, if it was just me, you know, or if it was just him. But again, thank God that at that time, he also, you know, was somebody who believed in sexual purity. Of course, he was not even going to you know do beyond himself at that point in time you know what i'm trying to say we didn't have any argument on on those things because we both believed in, in, in sexual purity May i was i was telling somebody yesterday that even when the the relationship was going to come to a quit or an end and we broke up and all, it was not on the basis of you had sex with me it was not on the basis of fornication or immorality no it was not on that so I can, you know, now I can come now and do a video and say, oh, throughout the time, we didn't have sex, we didn't have anything. What am I going to do with you in a hotel for what? Who are you, by the way? Oh, I don't deserve self. <laughs> I yes, I yes, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just praying that God will help us, you know. Because again, you know, when I think about it, and then I, I, I brood over it and all that. I just know that, you know, I just know that it's God that is holding us. It's God that is keeping us, um, you know. And the Bible even says that, you know, thanks be to God who keeps us from falling. So, you know, in Jude chapter 1 verse 24, you know, um, New Living Translation says, Now all glory to God who is able to keep you from falling away and bring you with great joy into his glorious presence with out a single fault. Now to him who is able to keep us from stumbling and to present you blameless before the presence of his glory with great joy. I'm reading different um, versions. Um, but you know, K King James that we all are familiar with. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before the presence of his glory with his joy. It's only God that can keep you from falling. And that is that is even a more reason why at every point in time as believers, you know, we have to always be in tune with the spirit. Like it is very important because there are some things that you would you would think that ah, I cannot do this one. I cannot mm -mm, I cannot, I cannot. But um, when it in when it in hook you <laughs> you will not even know when you will, you will forget that you are even a believer. So it is God who is able to keep you from falling. It is God who is able to keep us from stumbling. And that is why we ask, we have to always be in tune with the Spirit. Always. Always. You know, so I'm just praying that God is going to help us. Um, I'm just praying that God is going to help us, you know. Especially those of us who are still single, you know, praying to God. And, you know, holding, holding on with God. I know it's not easy, you I know it's not easy. We all have our struggles, especially when it comes to, you know, sexuality, you know, keeping ourselves, abstaining from evil and all of that. We all have our struggles. So if I come here and then I'm acting all saintly, you know, making it look like, oh, no, me, I don't even have sexual urges. Oh, what is that? <laughs> My dear, I lie. You. I just tell you that. <laughs> but we all have these things. We all have our stories. But the fact it remains that we have a God who is able to keep us from stumbling. So we don't we don't we don't glory in the fact that oh we we survived a day and we didn't fall into temptation or we didn't fall into sin. We don't glory in that. We rejoice in the fact that we have a God who is able to keep us. Do you know who is able to keep us from stumbling and falling? The devil is not happy that you are able to go through a day without committing sin. The devil is not happy. So at every point in time, the devil is bringing suggestions to you. The devil is bringing some things to your heart, you know, giving you different options. It is you that will say, no, I'm trusting the grace of God to keep me from falling, to keep me from stumbling. 
Okay. I pray God is going to help us. Okay. Wow. I think I've said a lot. I hope that this video I've touched you on the two things I hope that you learned. But I hope that you know there were one or two things you're able to take away. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so grateful. And to all our new subscribers, oh, thank you. Like you're welcome. You're very, 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 very much welcome. Thank you so much. Ah, I even wanted to say something. I can see that a lot of people are watching the ads, you know, that play on my videos because I saw some analytics, you know, on in the back end, and I'm like, oh wow, people are actually watching, you know, um, videos, um, adverts. Thank you. That means a lot, you know. It really, really means a lot because it's only when I even thought it's a lot. <laughs> it is only when you, um, you know, um, watch my ads, you know, um, when you give my videos likes and thumbs up. These are the things that you know help the analytics and help me. But yeah, thank you so much, people. I'm I'm really grateful. Thank you. Your presence here means a lot. You know, it means a lot to me. So thank you so much. God bless you. Have a nice day. Bye.